Hey YouTube, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I came up with this little fine line by Harry Styles cover album art inspired makeup look with the pink and the blue. And yeah, I'm gonna just go straight into it because why have a long ass intro? So yeah. Do not mind that my bacon these on my cheeks are not equal because I'm not really going anywhere today. So, first thing I'm gonna do is prime our eyelids. So, priming my lids. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to prime my lids first. Just gonna blend it with my finger. A brush. And we're gonna set that. I'm gonna set that with the Rimmel Stay Matte in the shade Transparent and I have hit pan on this. I need a new one real soon. It's my favorite powder. For pressed powder, I've been using this for years now. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. So I'm gonna take the Beauty Glaze Gorgeous Me eyeshadow tray and I'm gonna be dipping I'm gonna be dipping into. Wait, what did I dip into? Actually, I have this Neptune palette from Beauty Glaze. It's a nice nine color palette. It's like blues and stuff. I love it so much. So I'm gonna dip in this color and then mix it in with this color. I'm gonna just pack that onto my crease because this is gonna be our transition shade. Hello, blue. And I'm gonna bring it up high because that's what we want. Darker blue to blend out towards later on. I'm not the kind of um, makeup person who does, who, who, does, who does one eye first because I will forget what I did. I did on the other eye, so. So, Harry Styles. <laughs> I'm so stressed out for like tour. And then what we're gonna do is take more of that blue shade and combo, and just pack it on to the lids, and blending it upwards a little. It's so pastel on camera. In real life, it's a lot more brighter than that. I swear. No, no, we have that crease color in. I'm gonna go into this shade, which is a slightly darker shade. This shade. Go into that bit, but mixing in some of the transition shade into that. I haven't really talked about the look that much, but so first we're gonna do a little blue over here because it seems that the Harry Styles HS2 era is pink and blue, which is literally Pink, blue. That's what I'm gonna go for with this look. Now just put on that blue to just deepen the color up a bit. Add more definition, more dimension, you know. Bring that up in the deep inner crease. Is that really like a makeup tutorial? It's just basically I'm just filming like how I'm doing it because honestly, it is also kind of for my friends, I guess, because they keep asking me how I do eyeshadow and stuff because they're new to makeup so we're gonna take back that transition shade it's actually pretty blended but I'm just gonna go the extra mile and use some more shadow to blend it in more that darker shade but yeah let's talk about the styles <laughs> I don't really have a lot to say yet because the album's not even out right I'm gonna take a clean brush Clean, fluffy brush. It's not that clean anymore. It's just, it's clean. I swear, it's just stained, you know? And blend out this blue more. I like the edges to feather it out, make it not too intense. Yeah, boy. But yeah, basically, I really want to see Harry again. Hopefully see him closer this time But yeah, so in this one, we're gonna go in to this shade Yeah, I'm gonna pop that 
into the very, very low part, lowest part of the crease. So, I'm gonna take this. Oh my god, it's so dirty. It's so gross. Ew. I need to wash this. I will wash this, I swear. But it's this flat, flat, flat brush. I'm gonna take this, put some concealer on it, and then cut my crease. Oh. <sighs> this is gonna make, take me ages. And by the way, it's not gonna be a full cut crease, it's just gonna be a half cut crease. Ah! I'm gonna do the other eye now and pray for the best. See how I just messed it up? It's so high! I'll try to fix that now. Okay, so I tried to fix it as much as I can this side. I think that's okay now. <laughs> but now we're gonna take the same country brush from earlier from setting primer. Set it with the thermal stain mat and carefully press the powder down onto where concealer is laid down. So, since we're gonna do all the white line there, because to represent the fine line. In Harry Styles pink pants in the album cover, take this little brush from Regal Techniques. It's a little stain because she's used or whatever. I'm gonna take this pink shade, pack it onto that, pack it onto this brush, and then we're gonna sketch out on the line. I'm going to put down the color, clearly this shade. <laughs> Just gonna. I'm not gonna go too high right now, so I'm just gonna start there. I like just kind of build it in. If I want it, the line to be more fine, because it's a fine line, we're gonna keep going higher, but for now, I'm just gonna do this. So then we're gonna take, I have this flat brush. You can see it's already still pink. I'm gonna take that pink onto this packed brush, dense brush in a packed color, huh. and then pack that onto our lids. What if Harry starts to like do eyeshadow on this tour? Just like do like not like this kind of makeup, but like Euphoria style makeup. It just kind of. I'm not gonna say messy because it's not really that messy. Like Jules kind of makeup, like you just have a little bit of foil on the lids and stuff. And honestly, just thought of it. It's really so amazing. Can imagine it on him, the the orangey foil on this part of his lids. Like, ah! Contour and the light reflecting. And then his bottom lash line smoked out. Whew. Yes, it would look so, so pretty. I'm all for this era. See, it's a lot less steeper than this eye, but I don't care. It's still pretty looking. And I guess I'm gonna try and get, take this brush and see if there's still some product on it. And then just use that. Just blend the pink here. Go as harsh. Lights up and know who you are. Know who you are. Do you know who you are? I actually blend it really nice with just whatever remained on the brush. Actually, I need to see, see, see my lash line. Actually, some glue here. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Taking this brush, cleaning it as much as I can. Take this lightest shade here. Did you just see that? Powder. I try and put some of that onto the powder. I cut this that showing just a little without blurring out that the cut crease itself. But it's not really doing anything, so uh, But now, what I'm gonna do is gonna take this little pencil ish flat brush. It has yellow over it. I'm gonna use yellow. I'm gonna use this yellow. 
and not there's a yellow here but it's so pastel I actually used this at first when I first did this palette but I prefer this one then I'm gonna press it to our inner corner for a little pop of color yes homegirl's a little patchy she a little patchy not gonna lie see oh she's bright but she's powdery take of course you know what this is take this little fluffy brush put some powder on that and then wipe off the brush. oh my god i almost dipped it into the blue palette i really don't want the shade nos and peg mirror thing is with jeffree star stuff i can't i could have gotten like a lipstick when i went to morphe i could have gotten like a lipstick a freaking um, lip scrub because I've always wanted that but what was on my mind is that those things will expire and I wouldn't be able to use them in the future in, in the time it expires because it's expired duh so this doesn't expire bruh on your eyes are looking cute so I'm going go with that blue and then smoke out our lower lash line connect it with this part of our eye bring it in Actually, I need to dip into this, no, the other darker shade. Pop it onto the outer corner. See that, sis? I'm gonna take Lashes Rain by the Duke Cosmetics. They are 3D lashes. They're very, very dramatic, and I love them. So, so much no longer that scared of lashes but there are some lashes that do scare me but i'm not gonna do my mascara because i'm lazy so this is the final look with lashes and all and oh my god the little fluff there i'm so sorry that looks disgusting but yeah <laughs> it's like it's like dried up lash glue but here's the harry styles fine line cover album art inspired look and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me just trying to do something with my eyes. It isn't a new thing. But if you guys want to, to if you want me <laughs> to do more like colorful eye looks videos like this, um, do give, give a like below. I will list everything that I use on this video in the description below if I remember to. But yeah. That's the look. I'm actually really, really proud of it. Barely anything bad happened to like jeopardize this entire eye look. And yeah, it's really warm right now. I'm sorry. But... Thank you for watching, I guess. But yeah, that's it.